morning, ladies and gentlemen. I will talk about the use case one of the uh, project AI at Edge, a secure and reusable artificial intelligence platform for edge computing in beyond 5G networks. The use case is devoted to the virtual validation of equal cooperation perception. Actually, we did want to use uh, 5G AI and edge computing to test the behavior of automated vehicles within roundabouts. Why we uh, choose a roundabout? Uh, because currently, uh, roundabout is very critical for automated vehicle. Actually, automated vehicle get stuck when they get into the roundabout. This is a kind of a nightmare for uh, designers of uh, cooperative connected automated vehicles. And uh, the uh, objective of, of uh, the current uh, people who work in the uh, CCAM are uh, to increase the traffic flow and reduce the traffic pollution within roundabouts, increase safety, keep driving comfort, and uh, of course, for our uh, project, test the AI function that is uh, a mixture of AI, 5G, and edge computing. How does uh, our system work? We have uh, human-driven vehicles within the roundabout, and the human-driven vehicle send the data to the Mac Edge node, which is at the center of a, of a roundabout, and they send actually the position, the speed, the acceleration. The uh, cooperative connecting automated vehicles send the data to the Mac Edge node, the position, the speed, the acceleration, and additionally, they receive instruction from the Mac Edge node to accelerate, brake, change line, and so on. Uh, the Mac Edge node receives data from vehicles and uh, uh, by an AI algorithm defines the policy for each automated vehicle to be uh, followed. Uh, of course, uh, uh, we are uh, here in a, the presence of a kind of a, a electronic policeman at the center of the uh, roundabout that orchestrates the traffic. Um, a new connection architecture, vehicle to network, network to vehicle, has been um, uh, derived and it is uh, uh, quite original for such kind of application. Uh, we did uh, use uh, Sumo, uh, which is an open access software to simulate uh, the motion of uh, vehicles within uh, intersection and roads, uh, we use this software to uh, uh, train uh, the reinforcement learning of a, uh, an artificial intelligence uh, system in order to uh, define the policy uh, that has to be followed by uh, automated vehicles. Uh, so, automated vehicles uh, learn uh, from the, uh, the software how to um, behave in the uh, roundabout. Uh, in the roundabout, uh, there are not only automated vehicles, but also vehicles which are uh, driven by humans. And these, uh, the data of such uh, uh, human-driven vehicle are to be properly uh, defined. Uh, actually, to test whether an actual uh, human driver would uh, perceive correctly and positively the uh, the traffic uh, and how the traffic is managed by the Mac Edge node, we did use a uh, driving simulator, a dynamic driving simulator. Actually, we have recreated um, a virtual environment and we put an actual human driver 
uh, in the virtual uh, roundabout in order to check whether he or she uh, is able to drive, is comfortable, perceived safety. Uh, our driving simulator is a um, state-of-the-art uh, dynamic driving simulator. Uh, it is the first in the world uh, driven by cables. It, it performs um, up to 1.5 G in uh, the lateral direction, 2.5 G in the vertical direction, and it is uh, properly used for a number of different tasks in which uh, the uh, human machine interface has to be assessed. Uh, we did recreate the, an actual uh, roundabout. Uh, we had to use the 3D graphical representation that is provided with our driving simulator by the software VI WarSim by VI Grade. We linked this software with MATLAB Simulink and uh, uh, other uh, software uh, like Roadrunner and Unreal Engine in order to actually uh, create a virtual environment. Uh, the traffic scenario that we have uh, reproduced in our driving simulator is the, an actual um, roundabout that is in Milan, not far from our campus. Um, the, uh, the roundabout has four legs. Uh, in order to calibrate the data for human drivers uh, that have been used to train the uh, AI policy for uh, orchestrating the traffic with, uh, um, with automated vehicles. Uh, for, for this purpose, we had to uh, define the data of the drivers. And uh, the, um, the drivers uh, were somehow monitored uh, on 14 December 2022, uh, and our uh, our cooperators were able to define uh, the traffic to be recreated in our virtual environment by setting the data of, uh, of the driver. Here you see in this table the data of each driver uh, that had to be uh, uh, measured out from an actual environment. This allows us to say that our virtual environment actually is close to one uh, real one. Um, after we have defined the uh, virtual environment, actually we had to uh, link uh, the simulation uh, of Sumo with uh, the Unreal Engine convent converter that uh, actually creates uh, 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 solid models of of uh, uh, of buildings uh, that are transferred in the virtual environment of AI Warsim, and finally, uh, MathWorks uh, Roadrunner uh, to uh, uh, to define the details. Uh, we actually uh, claim uh, to be the very first one. Uh, to have introduced Sumo in a dynamic driving simulator. Uh, we wrote a conference paper about that, that uh, had a, a certain success at the Sumo User Conference in Berlin in 2023. Actually, to let Sumo work correctly, we had to smooth the trajectories of, uh, the, of the cars in Sumo, and here you see how we have smoothed the trajectories. Um, we uh, did perform uh, co-simulation, as I mentioned, uh, with Sumo and our uh, dynamic driving simulator, where an actual um, virtual uh, vehicle is uh, included. Um, we uh, 
did preliminary tests with 10 drivers uh, and uh, we uh, tested uh, two scenarios, one with 20% of automated vehicles and one with 80% of connected uh, vehicles. We did want to check whether the actual human driver feels comfortable and safe driving with relatively small uh, with a relatively relatively small number of um, automated vehicles and with a big number of automated vehicles um, we asked to our uh, drivers uh, about uh, the um, the traffic flow, their perception of traffic flow, the perception of safety and the overall uh, feeling. At the very end, uh, drivers did prefer driving with automated cars because they perceive them as being less aggressive, more polite. Um, we did uh, focus also on driving comfort because we did want to make the traffic swift within the driving simulator, but at the very first uh, attempt, uh, the uh, policy uh, instructed automated car to be so swift that the uh, people inside the, the car was a little bit uh, uh, uncomfort uh, uncomfortable due to high lateral and longitudinal acceleration. So, uh, to increase the ride comfort, we changed the upshifting and shifting of the cars. We uh, corrected the, um, the, 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 the trajectories and at the very end, we managed to find a more comfortable uh, motion of automated cars. Uh, at the very end, we performed final test with 40 drivers and we uh, asked whether they were uh, before driving in the, in, the, in, the drive, in the driving simulator, if they were keen to drive with automated cars and they were, uh, they maintained their uh, willingness after they've tested. Um, and also, uh, they uh, we we asked them where where the uh, uh, con connect uh, cooperative connected automatic cars were predictable, and uh, at the very end, uh, we uh, um, uh, we uh, we found that drivers. Uh, feel that uh, cooperative connected automated vehicles are more predictable and no significant difference has been found in the in the behavior of uh, the, the, the the traffic with or without uh, automated cars uh, this means that we have managed to uh, find a driving scenario where uh, humans might uh, drive together with automatic vehicle without uh, uh, big problems. Uh, we have defined KPIs as well. Um, and uh, uh, you see that uh, we did uh, uh, define a KPI referring on the vehicle density that we kept. Uh, we uh, did want to create a system with a uh, latency less than 160 milliseconds and we achieved 72 milliseconds. We uh, did want to have a communication reliability that is 99.49%. Uh, um, uh, the traffic flow was uh, increased uh, with uh, um, cooperative connected automated vehicles. Uh, so the, the roundabout with respect to the uh, same roundabout without automated vehicles is more uh, uh, is more able to uh, have a bigger 
flow. Uh, also, the fuel consumption was uh, greatly uh, improved. That is less pollution at the dry at, at the um, at the roundabout, and also the driver comfort was enhanced with uh, lateral jack and longitudinal jack and lateral acceleration within the known limits. Um, we uh, issued a journal paper on, uh, the, on these results that are better um, uh, defined there, and which are the current and future development. We will uh, have contact with the JRC ISPRA for a report of four policy makers in order to uh, let them uh, understand how to um, define rules for making uh, automated vehicles and uh, conventional cars uh, running together. Um, we have two next generation EU project, HL for IT and STAVE. We have uh, written two journal papers on IEEE journals. We have written 10 conference uh, papers uh, and we uh, will present in WCX 2024 the results of this uh, uh, use case and uh, uh, the same results will be presented at TRA Dublin as well. Uh, we have also uh, won a contest um, that is uh, a, 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 um, an award for the career at Travision. Um, the, uh, uh, this concludes my presentation. Uh, thank you for your attention.